Now the story this tradie and his legal team don't want you to see. Jason runs Fastway Plumbing, but customers say he's only fast to overcharge. A former worker even claims he was asked to botch a job so he could bill a customer even more. Jason says it's a stitch up. You decide. I need to talk to a current affairs and get this out there so we can get this cowboy off the road. Is this the charming, sweet talking person? Yes, yes, that's him. Yeah. Is that our man? Yeah, that's Jason there. Jace, Jace the Ace. Or is it Jace the Joker? What are you talking about? Because have you been taking people for a fool? No. <laughs> At just 26 years old, Jason Abu Kalam is living the dream. His fast way plumbing business bills are whopping 200 grand a week. The money that bloke makes in a week over a year is amazing, absolutely amazing. He lives in a $2 million home overlooking Sydney's Bodney Bay, and he loves his boys' toys. But have the star plumber's business ethics landed him in hot water? You're telling me that you're an honest bloke? Yes, I am. With a whistleblower alleging the worst case of plumber's crack we've ever seen. Charge of $15,000 for something that wasn't even broken. Like, I had to break it with a hammer, so... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Back up here, <laughs> mate, back up here. We're here to serve the community. Serving the community is one yep. thing, but ripping them off is another. We get dozens of emails each week from people claiming that tradies have ripped them off. But when an ex-employee contacted us saying that the boss told him to deliberately destroy someone's property in order to get a big payday, well, we just had to investigate. Every job that I went to was just charged an arm and a leg. That's Dylan Cook. He's been a plumber for eight years. But Dylan says he quit after working just four days for Jason Abu Kalam and Fastway Plumbing. Dylan claims Jason ordered him to carry out blatant sewage sabotage on a customer's pipe for a lucrative invoice. When I found the pipe, I've noticed there's nothing wrong with it. And then I took photos of it and I rang Jason and he goes, oh, the ladies agreed to um, the $15,000 quote, so just smash it with your hammer and fix it. So what did you do? I uh, just had to smash it with my hammer and then I took photos of it broken after I smashed it and replaced it. Dylan says this is the customer's pipe before he smashed it. And this is the empty trench after he removed the evidence. The customer was charged nearly $15,000 for repairs. Dylan says the actual issue was later identified in another area of the property and fixed by Fastway at an additional cost. When you went home that night, how did you feel? I felt like guilty, like I'd just robbed someone, pretty much, so. Do you have me on, on voice recordings saying that? Fastway so Plumbing phone Director phone Jason Abu Khalam rejects phone the phone allegation. Phone. Are you worried about former employees coming to us and saying that you're a bit of a crook? Absolutely not. What about a job in the Disgruntled employees mm. are very normal. Oh, mate, he's a total tool. You wouldn't believe it. He's, uh, he's just a joke and takes advantage of everyone. So. Here's another one of Jason's ex-employees who uh, contacted no. us about um, the plumber's morals. Um, he would make it seem as if he's charging a, an appropriate price. Uh, in reality, it's about triple the normal price of, a, of the actual job. Fastway Plumbing is before the courts on an unrelated matter, charged with demanding more than the maximum 10% deposit for residential building work. This product review website warns that many positive write-ups are likely to be false and misleading. And a number of viewers also asked us to look yeah. into the profitable plumbing outfit. I agree why, why do you think people are coming to us saying, we've been overcharged this, we've been overcharged that? I mean, it yeah. doesn't look good, very good for you. Absolutely not. It doesn't look good whatsoever. But again, we run an expensive same day service. When they come, it starts in a small little job and then the bill gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's and Joy. She called Jason to fix her leaking toilet system and dripping shower. The invoice for 45 minutes work, more than $1,800. I only have a little bit of savings put aside for these sort of system things happening. And um, yeah, it does take me a while to yeah. save that amount of money. 12, 12 months it take me to save up for it. So that hurts, doesn't it? It hurts very badly. 
Joy actually rang an outfit called Wilson's Plumbing. That's one of ten subsidiaries Jason has registered under the Fastway company umbrella. Why have you got more than one company name? We specialise in different types of services. So, emergency Is one of those services, services ripping people off? Absolutely not. No? No. Joy's invoice included a $313 charge for a new shower mixer. Have a look. So, posh, yep. high quality tapware okay. with lifetime warranty on the installation. Yep. Again, posh, high quality tapware, lifetime warranty on the installation. But Joy's yep. model of mixer is Mondella, which costs 80 bucks online. I didn't know anything. I thought it was gold bladed, but no, it's not even white gold. Jason, though, was so determined to prove Joy's invoice was legit, he offered to meet us at her house for a face-to-face. -face. Let's go. Let's go. OK, I'll give you the address. Yep, I'll see you there. Let's go. And that was the last we saw of Fastway Plumbing's Jason Abukalam. The drive to Joy's is just a couple of k's, but we've been waiting 45 minutes for the plumber to turn up. And you know what? We're done with Chase and Jason. With no one in at the Fastway depot, just a jet ski and a plumbing in joke, we offered Joy the final it's word. So what, Fastway, send them away? Send them away. Do, do not deal with them. If you've had a bad experience with Jason or Fastway Plumbing, we'd like to know. Our email address is on your screen now or send us a message on our Facebook page.